I like Atlantic Lithium. I mean, it has a good management team. It's run by Len Clough, uh, backed by Neil Herbert, who's the chairman. These, these guys understand the, the mining industry. Len is a good operator. They have assets in Ghana. Uh, they're right on the coast. It's a short trucking distance to the port. The Ghanaian government and the Minister of Mines, they're really helpful people. They are very, very keen to encourage and expand the, the lithium mining industry in Ghana. And they're very professional people. So this is, this is a good location. It's the quality of the lithium is excellent. The grades are world-class. Um, most of what they, they look at is over 1% lithium, which, which is good quality for uh, lithium spodumene producers. Uh, and this is what, what most of the world's lithium is being produced from now. So these hard rock spodumene projects are, are, in, are proving very popular and very valuable right now. Uh, and Atlantic Lithium is, is, is tied in with Pierre de Mont, which, is, uh, which has a deal with Tesla uh, and is looking to refine lithium in South Carolina in the United States. Um, and maybe they'll even end up processing some of that lithium in Ghana as well. So the, the, there's a lot to, that can happen here. And, uh, and certainly the resources are well defined by the team at Atlantic Lithium. So they're, they're well advanced there. And it really shouldn't be long before they head into production. But I, I think there's there's going to be a certain degree of negotiation between them and and the Minister of Mines in Ghana before before they um, before they really move that ahead. Kodal Minerals is a a lithium and gold exploration company operating in Mali in West Africa. Uh, the gold portfolio is, is very interesting and, and I'm sure there will be further discoveries to be made there. Uh, I think in fact it's just a question of confirming those discoveries. The lithium uh, portfolio, it really is the Baguni project in Mali, that is well defined now. In fact there's good opportunity for further expansion of that project and in fact there are opportunities for the discovery of other lithium projects within the portfolio which is, which is good news. Now the big news on Kodal is that Hainan Mining, which is a, a, a subsidiary of, of Fosun Group, it's 46% owned by Fosun and 20% owned by Hainan Province in China, which is often the way, uh, they have agreed to put $100 million into Kodal. Uh, that is to fund the new dense media separation plant for the production of spodumene concentrate in Mali. Uh, they're also subscribing to $17.75 million worth of Kodal shares at, at what was double the share price of, of the day before the deal. So that was a very sweet uh, financing deal agreed. In fact, we don't normally see that kind of thing. So I think this demonstrates clearly how keen the Chinese are to get into, into this sort of thing. In fact, normally when we see capital being put into a deal, uh, the, the, the capital providers have first lean on getting their capital back. But in this case, they're putting $100 million in and effectively, Kodal are putting in around $100 million worth of asset value, which is extraordinary considering that Kodal wasn't even worth a third of that before the deal. So um, this, is, this, this, is a, this is a great deal for Kodal. It, it means the project is financed. It means they hopefully should be in production within a year uh, and the truck should start rolling. Now, I think the reason why the shares are held back at the moment is because there, there's a certain amount of investor mistrust in the Chinese. They're not convinced the deal is going to necessarily consummate. Uh, this, we're still a few days away from the, uh, the, the break fee being lodged within the escrow account. Uh, I think that's a $7 million break fee. So once that's in the account, I think investors should be much more certain about this. To me, I, I, I think this deal would definitely go ahead. So I think there's, a, I think there's money to be made by, by buying and trading Kodal mineral shares. The, the only fly in the ointment is that the trucking distance from Mali to the, the port uh, in the Ivory Coast is about 850, 900 kilometers. Um, and they'll be running 10 trucks a day down to the port in order to meet the tonnage of around 120,000 tons a year. So uh, I think there's going to be some issues with that over time. But in the meantime, the Chinese are prepared to take that risk uh, in order to, to, to get hold of good quality spodumene material. 
Cornish Metals is, is looking to develop the South Crofty tin mine in, in, in the UK, in Cornwall. Um, it's just getting ready to start uh, dewatering that mine. Uh, it's had to build fairly extensive infrastructure to do that, and most of that's in place now. But in the meantime, it's been drilling a couple of other areas. It, it made a discovery at United Downs uh, just over a year ago, uh, and that's fairly accessible using existing infrastructure from the old wheel made mine. Um, but it's also made another new discovery at, at a place called Carn Bray. And this is particularly exciting because they, the geological team have done a lot of work digitizing the old maps and records of Cornwall, a lot of historical stuff going back hundreds of years. And what you can do, if you, in fact, if you go onto the Cornish Metals website, you can click on a link that will show you a fly through in 3D of all the old mining tunnels. Uh, including the shafts, but particularly the tunnels. And the, the geological team, having digitized all this data, were able to examine it in 3D on their screens and spot areas where, where the work had been done, where resources had been extracted, but where, or, um, but where there were gaps where the, the old miners hadn't been. And they, they spotted a gap on what's called the, the Great Flat Load. Uh, and that's within a mile of the, the main shaft at South Crofty. So that's very interesting because it's it's easily accessible to uh, to, to 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 the mine. Um, they wouldn't need to dewater anything, I think, to get into that. In fact, they 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 also see a repeating structure underneath the great flat load, and so they popped a, a drill hole into this, and they immediately made a a new discovery. So uh, it just goes to show all this pains, painstaking digitization of old data really does pay off. So. I think this is something that will, in future years, expand the mine. It might even help the mine get into production sooner rather than later. Um, and it's certainly a, a good value addition to, to the Cornish Metals project. So uh, that's that was great news, very unexpected. Um, the shares did you know, clearly gained on it. And I think, I think it means there's going to be more money made out of this, this company yet going forwards.